So today we've got this Barnetone breaker phone. Perhaps I ought to put it like that so it's a bit more visual. And Mr. Chip is in the car as usual, in the electric car in the Nissan Leaf, and we've got Mark G7NDJ following in the Almira, which we recently did the three videos on fitting an aerial to, doing the power lead, and subsequently fitting one of those two Thunderpole 3000s that have been kindly donated by breakers in East Antrim in uh, Northern Ireland. So we want to compare the two the two cars because it should be the same. You'll only get footage. The right mic, yes. Oh, I think we're talking to each other. Tango 21 test. Tango 21 working. Roger, and we're already on an extension speaker. Yeah, Roger that. Um, let me know when you're ready. Can Mark hear us? Yep, sir. Is that X2 ready? Ready to go. Tango 21, are you ready? Tango 21 ready. Roger, off we go. Roger on that, got you going and get past the house, no turn control on this radio. Passing the house. Right, Mr Chippy coming up to the end of the lane. Roger, got you at the end of the lane. Roger. ZX2. Just coming to the end of the lane. I'm just, uh, just getting out of the junction. Roger on that. Yep, the next two just coming to the end of the lane. I'm just, uh, just getting out of the junction. Roger on that. Passing uh, the uh, Ancaster service station and it's closed. Not change there, is there? No, not this time on a Sunday. Is that X2 just passing, passing the filling station? The confirmed definitely is closed. Is that loud? Going through Ancaster Crossroads. You've got to go through Ancaster Crossroads. Roger. And ZX2 going through uh, the crossroads as well. Scratchy corner, Wilsford, over. Roger 
as you got your loud and clear going around scratchy corner at Wilsford, I'm on a <laughs> Yep, Roger, that all received. Going through, scratchy corner, just going through. I've got the going through, scratchy corner as well, just the same level. I'll hear you, but I've had to turn the squelch um, to manual. Tango 21 from Mr. Chippy, we're now at the five mile point. Yep, roger that. Uh, again, I've had to disable the squelch and you're giving me uh, no S reading at all. Oh, well done, well done. Anyway, that proves it works. Yep, Roger, no problems on full power. Very hard to read you on low power, as we've already discovered. Roger on that, OK. You copy me, Mark? Uh, yes, the copy, same, same as um, Mr Chippy there. 
uh, low power sort of just around the coming wrap up there, just uh, very quiet. But now you're back up to full power. Yes, I continue and um, I'm back on the manual scrolls. Thank goodness for that. Um, but yeah, all good now. I can hear you clear as a bell. Well, a far better signal than Mr. Trippy is. So what I want you to do, I want Mr. Trippy to move off. And I want you to reverse him exactly where he was, please, over. Yeah, I'm going to reverse him now. Yeah, I'm going to reverse him now. Yeah, I'm going to reverse him now. Yes, OK. I'm just uh, slightly to the right and uh, Mr. Chippy's over to the left, like where he would normally park. So, um, when well, Mr. Chippy moves, then I'll uh, pull up there and then give you another call over. Yeah, I will do when the pedestrians have passed. Don't want to run anybody over today. got you at the five mile point, just over. Do you know what, I've been on low power all this time over. Right, so testing one, two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one. Now on uh, 3.4 watts. Now we're going to pop it down to low power, which is 340 milliwatts on this radio. 54321, and there we are back on that low power setting that it's been on all the time so far, over. Yeah, Roger on that. Okay, do you copy me, Mark? Uh, yes, you copy. Same, same as um, Mr. Kitty there. Uh, low power sort of just around the coming right up there, just uh, very quiet, but now you're back up to full power. Yes, I can see you, and um, I'm back on the manual scroll, so thank goodness for that. Um, but yeah, all good now, I can hear you clear as a bell. Now you're a far better signal than Mr Chippy is, so what I want you to do, I want Mr Chippy to move off, and I want you to reverse in exactly where he was, please, over. I'm just uh, slightly to the right, and uh, Mr. Chippy's over to the left, right where he would normally park. So, um, when well, Mr. Chippy moves, then I'll uh, pull up there and then give you another call over. Yeah, please. Off you go, Mr. Chippy. Right, we're on the move again. Roger, I can. It's, it's inferior to where you were, which goes to prove that it's that point uh, and not no difference in the radios. Over. Okay, okay, I'll move on then. Roger, thank you for that, and that, that's what we wanted to clinch. Radio group again for supplying those Thunderpole radios, one of which is in the Almira. Yeah, 
to our base station and see what that sounds like. So there I was in low power all that time and no wonder it was sounding a bit 10-1 to them but that's an even better test that they actually heard me at all. So uh, and notice how when Mark was to one side of, uh, of Mr Chippy he was coming through so much better. Now one of the things about these sets is you've got this flying lead. So instead of the aero socket being bolted to the radio you've got this flying lead and you've got inherent loss in there so although this isn't an insensitive set its receiver doesn't perform brilliantly it's quite a simplistic receiver so I don't think it's much more sophisticated than what you'd found in an Alba handheld stroke Harvard 410 stroke Harrier CBH2 we have to appreciate these are a novelty set and it is doing 3.4 watts the manufacturer says it's supposed to do 3.6 but uh, of course they may be measuring that with interference as well whereas we're not so we're going to go to our £99.95 if we didn't say at the beginning uh, to £109.95 that kind of area right ok uh, we'll go to the base station and see what it sounds like I've got test in the balance zone break into our Midlands zone 6900 base station Testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, power, 4, 3, 2, 1 on high power. Got pockets on to low power, and I see it's doing about 340 milliwatts. Then we're on low power, testing 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, power, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we're back into high power. So I hope you find that interesting, and thanks for watching. Right, you can both talk now, we're done. Yeah, good to say. 